Hey everyone, it's Aaron with Hale Varsity and I am joined by Greg, also of Hale Varsity. He is our recruiting expert extraordinaire and insert uh, recruiting wizard. I don't know. I'm, every week I'm trying to come up with something like new to describe your title. But Greg, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very well. If we continue this tradition, I, I really like this. We should make this a thing. Um, I think this week with me being the recruiting extraordinaire, I think that that's really cool. I mean, I, like I said, we'll, we'll save uh, Wizard for maybe next week or the week after. But, you know, we are recording this so everyone knows just a little bit early. By the time you're watching this, you're watching this at the normal time on Monday. We recorded a little bit early because Greg has uh, taken a little bit of a vacation, which hopefully uh, by the time you're watching this, he feels well rested and ready to go because June is going to be a busy, busy month for recruiting, especially at Nebraska, which is what prompted this question, more of something that has been on Greg's mind. So essentially schools are gonna be able to work prospects out for an hour in their facilities privately in the month of June. Those, those students or the athletes that come to campus can then also do unofficial visits, take tours, do all of that stuff. It isn't paid for by the school because it is unofficial, but they're going to get that one hour of private time, which is really interesting. It's, it's definitely a unique thing for schools to have this opportunity, especially after a year of not being able to see them. So Greg, tell us a little bit about it, about this, because I wasn't even familiar with this until you told me. So walk us through it. Yeah, it's really interesting. I think it's something that was born from the COVID year in which we got, we had to basically put normal recruiting as we know it on pause. And I think that one of the things, it, when this all first happened, the very first thing that I, then I think naturally so and rightfully so that everybody thought about was, hey, official visits aren't going to happen. And there was so many, so much focus on official visits that you forget that there's an entire, like very large component of evaluations that happens in this normal recruiting period time as well as you're about to see ramp up over the month of June. And because we've essentially missed that for a year, the NCAA actually had a good idea. I will give them credit where it's due on this one out of 100 that prospects would be able to come and work out privately for schools at their facilities for one hour. And like you said, take those unofficial visits as well. Now, what I, I guess I hadn't really thought about what those workouts would look like. And so in kind of talking to a couple of prospects this week, they essentially are able to go into Nebraska's weight room, into their facilities, and use their facilities and work out in front of whichever position coach um, that, you know, they're going to be potentially at in college, right? And so if you think about it, that's a really cool opportunity for a kid if, you, if you're Nebraska or if you're a prospect and a school like Nebraska comes to you and says, hey, we really like you. We don't necessarily want you to go to one of these mega camps where everyone is going to see you. We want to come and see you just ourselves. And by the way, you get to use our world-class weight rooms and facilities um, and get one-on-one -on -one instruction from our coaches. That, that's a really cool deal. Um, and the kids that I've talked to that are doing it are really, really excited about it. And they've all been preparing in various ways to do it. Um, and so I think it's a really good deal for kids kids and it's going to add another layer um, of fun around here because tracking now who's coming for these workouts that can really happen any day of the week um, is going to be a whole nother thing. And we've talked a bit in these videos and you've also mentioned this in the recruiting notebook that for a lot of these uh, a lot of these recruits, they have spent, so the, the interesting thing about the 2021 class versus 2022 is 2021 had gotten early evaluation before basically having no final evaluation as their recruiting journeys came to an end. 2022 has really had no true evaluation at this point. So this is almost like making up ground for all of that. And we're probably going to see a lot of schools, big boards changing because once they have an opportunity to see, see these players in person, they're going to have a better understanding of have they grown have things changed do they match you know their huddle highlights at this point what what are we now seeing that we didn't see before because we've talked about this too uh Heinrich Harburg he came to um he came to Nebraska having never been seen they never saw him throw in person until he showed up so this is going to change again how they can evaluate and give these student athletes or these uh, recruits the opportunity to show what they can do after really having had no evaluation to this point, at least not in this way. Yeah, basically they've had game film 
if they if their states if they live in states that were able to play high school football last uh, fall, all they have is game tape. Game tape is great. Like it is probably it's the best evaluation, right? Because you want to see how guys play in actual games. But at the same time, you, you ask any of these coaches, they all want to actually be able to see these kids in person and work with them, give them instruction, see how they take to feedback. There's just a lot of little things that you can pick up on in doing that. And I can't imagine how much more you get to do um, in that one on one setting with a kid, uh, which we'll have here in June. And it, you know, this is probably going to just be more motivation for Nebraska to get moving on that uh, new training facility, because if mm -hmm. this is something that is say going to happen in the future, uh, they definitely are going to want to show off the highest and nicest uh, looking facility they can, because that is certainly going to be a selling point for other other schools across the country. So they have broken ground on that for anyone who is not, who is not familiar yet. They are. I've seen photos. Uh, they are moving things along. So that is in a work in progress, but soon enough. Greg, I appreciate your time and your thoughts on this. If anybody wants more from Greg on this particular topic, he will have that in the recruiting notebook tonight, 6 p.m. Central at hailvarsity.com. But you can always check out the recruiting notebook Sunday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Central. Just go ahead and bookmark it, presented by Pinnacle Bank, which we really, really appreciate their support in making these things possible. And we appreciate you because without your questions and your conversation, it wouldn't be. And by the way, for those of you who leave comments right here on YouTube or on Facebook, wherever you might be watching this, uh, we do keep track of them. So if you don't have your question answered one week, check out the recruiting notebook. It might come up there or it might be in a video a week or two in the future. So never think that we are not uh, listening. We are. It just, you know, you've all brought so many good topics up. So thank you for not giving us, for, thank you for giving us a plethora of things to talk about. But Greg, thank you so much. I hope at this point when people are watching this, you have had a well-rested vacation and are ready to come back and hit the ground running for a very busy June. I think ready or not, here I come, right? And you can keep up with all of it at hailvarsity.com. So just go ahead, like I said, bookmark the recruiting notebook, go follow Greg at Greg Smith HV or Hale Varsity at, at Hale Varsity on Twitter and We'll be back in a week. Keep leaving those comments. We appreciate you.